I think it's finally time that I play an absolute classic. All right, so today I'm gonna be playing Portal, and I feel like at this point in time, everybody knows about this game. Now for me, I have never played this game. I've never even opened it, never watched somebody play it. I've seen like clips in like videos where people talk about games and stuff like that. All I know about it is that you have a portal gun and you can make two things happen and you can like enter one and exit the other. It's old too, but I've heard that it's like some people's like favorite game. It's only like three hours from what I've seen. So I have no idea what to expect. Well, that bed needs to be changed. It's a little greasy. Nice toilet, though. I pick up anything. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, Please refrain from what? Refrain from what? Three, two, refrain from what? I feel like there was some important information there that I didn't hear. So I have a little bit of a new setup today. I'm always changing my setup. I'm always changing the lights, the cameras. I'm always trying to change everything to try to get my setup better. So normally my camera is about 10 feet that direction with a 50 millimeter lens on it's got a really nice depth of field but it's very difficult to adjust but now this camera well same camera different lens it is closer it's not as good of a lens but like there's not a very good depth of field in or anything but it's closer and i can adjust it I still have this camera set up just in case it's my backup camera and i'm recording and this is on and that's recording and i have a drink all right so this is for entertainment education and fun but make sure you don't Oh, I have like those, those look like prosthetic feet on my feet. I got a ponytail and other parts. Oh, oh, I literally just came out from, oh, interesting. Okay, uh, drop something on head, ouchie, ouchie. And the music's good. Hello. You, you don't look evil at all. Okay, well you're watching me, but that's fine. How long were you watching me in my little chamber? You gonna close behind me? <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Well clearly I have to put this block here. This is weird. Need to pick up. But how do I get it to drop on my head? Excellent. Thank you. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. Uh, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material events a patient grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Well, I don't know how to get another cube out. I, this is one of those games, to my knowledge, that people have played a million times and have broken every boundary, found every shortcut, I'm sure. That's what I feel like it is. I could be wrong. Aperture Laboratories. But I do know it's like a very extremely popular game. Oh, my controller is on. Hold on, don't worry about that. I'm just unplugging my controller. Taking the battery out, because that's the only way I know how to turn it off. Uh, Aperture, zero of one. I feel like I was supposed to drop it on my head, but I didn't. Hello. Whee! Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Okay. Whoa. Does it keep changing? What's causing it to change? Is it just time? It must just be time. Oh, well, there goes my cube. When do I get a portal gun? Thank you. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock. As okay. the effects of prolonged exposure to the buttons are not part of this test. Uh, why, why would, why would exposure to a button cause anything more than just touchy touchies? Hello. These walls are dirty. Well, 
Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. What it? My teeth? Please don't do anything to my teeth. I like my teeth. And also, tooth pain is something I don't do. It bothers me. So much. No, 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 go in, go in, go in, go in. Alright, that's literally back where I just was. And it's back where I was again. Is this just the same thing? Hi. Can you shoot me with the portal gun? Shoot me. Hit me. Oh! You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. All right. Uh, well, all right. I got the portal gun finally. You know that's better than some games where it takes forever to give you the thing. I'm looking at you, viewfinder. Took me too long to get that camera. Okay, so this is the this is the portal gun. This thing is very famous. I know this. Is there? It, I could be wrong, but is there something Please that? To the chamber lock. Okay. Mind the gap. Is there something that like? Does it automatically make doors? Okay. Is there something that, like, this game was not meant to... ...be, like... ...um... It wasn't... Yeah, remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Okay. It, it was something like this wasn't really... I believe this wasn't really, like, meant to be a game. It was more a test, but then it was so good that it was a game? Is that what it was? I don't remember. I don't know the history behind this at all. If you know the history, tell me in the comments. I don't know. I don't do YouTube stuff like that. <laughs> Hello? Welcome to test chamber four. Okay. You're doing quite well. Thank you. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. All right. Um. Where did I come out of? There. Alright. There, there. Whoa, I like the gravity change. That's cool. Once again, excellent work. Thank you. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Sweet. All right, that's okay. You don't need to watch. But it looks it the 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 like soundproofing walls. If I don't know if you've ever been like a soundproof room before, but like those things, like I don't know for some reason, it hurts my ears when it gets like too quiet. It like starts to like tingle and like tickle the hairs in my ears. It actually, kind of hurts. I don't know. I could have a problem. Number five of nineteen. Don't drop beyond heady head. Oh, that will hurt. He hurt. Hi. I, I thought you weren't gonna monitor me. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. I did not think that that was going to work. So wait, so I can't choose where the other portal goes. That must be something later. Is there any more like apparatus training things I can destroy? Ha! For your own safety, ah. do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Yeah, but like you weren't, you're not supposed to be watching me. How do you know I'm doing that? Where did that fall? Oh, up there. Well, how do I get that? Ah. Oh, well, I just, I just go up there. I'm kind of stupid. Okay. Boom. Well, I only need- Whoa! I only need the one. I'm assuming. Oh, I do need the two. Did I screwy wooey something up? <laughs> Oh, well, hold on. I, I know I can do this. There we go. 
Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Puzzly. It's it's slightly puzzly, and I like it. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, nice. we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, uh-huh. You suck. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Nah, that's Do not right. destroy testing apparatus. I think you're fine. You lie to me once. Camera, I I take your camera. No no bouncy orb. Going bouncy wounds. Okay, so don't get hit by orb. I aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Well, I think I just experienced the vaporization of it. Please be careful. Don't worry about it. Unbelievable. You subject name here must be the pride of subject hometown here. Subject what? Hometown what? So it's dystopian. It's got to be dystopian. Because I don't think I'm doing this willingly. It doesn't seem like it. I mean, it, it sounds like they're trying to make it sound that way, but... Uh, uh, why can't I use the portal out here? Oh, is it beyond, like, the... No, I don't know. Alright. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high-energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Okay. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the Chamber Lock. Oh, I can't go... I can't go where there's the rubber room type stuff. Alright. We're zinging it. Whoa, there we go. That's pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so you can't go here, but you can go there. Interesting. Next location. There's 19 of them. I'm pretty smart. What is this, number six? Please Eight. That we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the Don't drink water. Will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. What? I wasn't... By death. Good luck. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't... I wasn't paying attention. I was not paying attention. Alright, so it goes through there. And it needs to go through there. Did it just shoot me for no reason? 